This is so wrong. And right. At the same time, I... I, I know we can't escape, but to just have a glimpse outside... The, the suppressor will understand. That's not what I meant to do. Let us listen to the silence. What really drives you? Who are you? Who are you since you have to have set foot on Enderal? Now you are the opposite of what you really are. Instructive, strong, powerful, meaningful, in short, the prophet. You have constructed a narrative for yourself. A fairy tale. A fairy tale about who you want to be. And you have found exactly those people who confirm it. That's the most important thing, isn't it? You've found someone who believes in your fairy tale. Don't you see? You're simply wrong. All about you is wrong. You're pathetic. You know that? What would Sirius say about this? I might take it. The corpses only have human flesh in them, or on them. They all look burnt as well. Air claw? I'll take that. I'm sorry. Whoa. Those two still have their heart as well. Another note, let us listen to the silence. What really drives you? Who are you? Who are you since you have set foot on Enderal? Is this the same? Yep. I'm going to take that note as well. Whoa. continuously swings all I need to do is escape from this place
there's that guy that was looking through the thing at us. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to go out. After all, I mean, I mean, yeah. We will get out, so. Better off doing bursts. Whoa. Doing bursts like that will allow me to hurt them more. Didn't mean to fall into the water. They're not wrong when they say my mana regenerates extremely slowly. Why are those... No, oh, they're two different types. I was thinking, why are they in two different lines? But they're different types, so... All good. Damage Magicka. Uh-oh. Here looks so similar. It's, it's a damn maze. Oh, oh, really? We, we should never have left. This will be our doom. We haven't come across any traps like this before. We definitely haven't been here before. Oh, 
People in there, just like us. They didn't know their place either, and, and now they're dead. They've simply dissolved because they dared to disobey the suppressor. <laughs> By the gods, this is what will happen to us too. I knew it was a mistake to leave in the first place. I just knew it. Wonder if I'll keep all the stuff I'm picking up in here. Search daddy. Uh, okay. Let me out. There we go. Does this place have a map? It does. Take remorse. Uh, it might be a trap. I see those holes in the wall. which I have to do. Whoa, they came out pretty far. But I opened that door. You can grab and move items. You're telling me I didn't actually have to take that skull? I have a feeling taking that will lift I have no choice, I have to take it, but it's going to lift up those spikes again, I believe. Yep. Cool. Now this looks familiar. you see we're, we're back yep this is back at the start I still have everything that I picked up last time though so what leave me alone Suppressor's punishment. It will be horrible. I just don't understand it. Who are you? A part of me? An illusion? Uh, of course I'm a part of you, and you are a part of me. Isn't that obvious? But I should have known you wouldn't understand. You're too weak. You always were. 
calling me weak. Why are you afraid of this suppressor? I haven't said anything. No, you haven't. Because you're blind. The suppressor is here, in every single stone, in every bone, in every drop of blood. And yet you are too blind to see it. Well, I should have known. I mean, what can you expect from someone who has killed his entire family? I followed you because for a brief moment, you made me want to believe, and now you've dragged me into the abyss along with you. This place that we're in right now looks exactly the same as the place that you were in before. So what difference does it make whether you followed me or not? But there must be a way out of here. No, there isn't. Just look at us. Look at what we are. We are the damned because we are trapped too deeply in the past. And that's why we do not deserve freedom. Uh, okay, that's all of those options. Done. Maybe I just need to sleep. Uh, why is that hand still up there, although I've opened it? What is the mission? Let's still escape from this strange place. What? Leave me alone! The suppressor's punishment. It will be horrible. Still nothing new even after sleeping. Before I do this, I'm going to save it. I don't want to kill him. If I, if it doesn't work, I'm going to learn. Well, well. So ah. you figured it out. Yes, I am what keeps you in this place. But was it blind rage that made you act, or have you truly understood who I am? Have you understood what drives you and determines your actions? The salt corrodes your skin, and the water filling your lungs is cold. But you still haven't found it, child, have you? Okay, that's what I had to do. Cool. Uh, why am I back here? Did they cart me back to the castle? Oh, hey. Good to see you awake. How are you feeling? Where are the others? Dunwa... Kalia, Master Barter. Good question. The room was empty when I came here. Actually, that's quite weird now that you mention it. The entire temple seemed kind of deserted. But, eh, probably a ceremony or something like that. Now, tell me, how are you holding up? I heard this trial's quite the feat. Apparently, some of the novices never wake up again. So. Fine, I guess. Where are we? In the temple. The Curarium, to be precise. Thought so. You were brought here when you were traveling with that Ixen guy. I think the others are already awake, but I didn't want to leave you here, so I thought I'd just stay. I mean, hey, you are a keeper of the first sigil now, aren't you? I believe congratulations are in order. Uh, how did you know about the guy I met in the other place? In the strange place? I'm not letting it get to my head. 
Well, you shouldn't. You know why? Because you're pathetic. Simply pathetic. Excuse me? I said you are pathetic. At first, we believed it would be more exciting this time. <laughs> but now that we've seen the new prophet, our hopes are gone. You're a joke. And you're not who you... Who let his only friend kick the bucket? As if you'd ever accept that. You humans are always so damn persistent, aren't you? Why? Why can't you just let go? Because in the end, you are powerless, just as all those before you. And you, Prophet, you are the biggest joke of all. You are nothing but an urchin. A weakling. And a murderer. Yeah, none of that is and right. And that is why you will burn. All of you. The cleansing will happen, and there's nothing you can do to stop. You don't scare me. <laughs> Is that so? Such presumption from a fish who thinks his time to be the world. The world is an interplay of cause and effect, and the only logical consequence of your existence is annihilation. That's the way it was, and that's the way it's going to be. But enough of the banter, Urchin. We wanted to meet you, and so we did, even though the result is rather sumai. Now wake up! Keep on stumbling through the mist. Yeah, I knew that couldn't be real. Just Spa would never say that stuff. Thank Malthus. I was starting to think I was the only one. How are you? You look exhausted. I would say that she probably had the same experience I did, so, yeah, I'll say it. Yeah, I, I had a bad dream, a nightmare. You did. That's probably one of the after effects of the potion, but it will pass, I'm sure of it. But it's good to see the Grandmaster was right after all. I woke up just a few hours earlier, and he was here in the meantime. He didn't doubt for a single second that you would make it. But I suppose mutual congratulations are in order. We made it. We passed the trial. So does that make us keepers now? Almost, yes. All that is left to do is to take the oath, and then Grandmaster Aranthiel will exalt us to the keepers of the first sigil. Speaking of whom, he also told me some things while you were asleep. About the Pyreans, about these dreams, and of course, about this... cycle. <sighs> This is so bizarre, really. At first we're told out of nowhere that the gods have died, and now humanity is on the brink of extinction. This is a lot to take in. Oh, I don't think I'll say that. I figured, what do you make of all this? The cycle? This cleansing? Hard to say. I never had those dreams the Grandmaster talked about, even though I'm magically gifted. But then again, I always had the feeling that the Red Madness was more than an ordinary disease. <sighs> well, I suppose all of this explains a lot. At least now I can understand why the Grandmaster was willing to break all the traditions of the Order just to get you exalted to be a Keeper. According to him, most of our battle against the Cycle will stand or fall with you. I wish I could say that with the same conviction as him. To be honest, I don't really think I've understood all of what's happened to me yet. Yes, I believe that. 
It's a great responsibility you've been given. And as impressive as your skills are, I would not want to change places with you. Hmm. So what's the next step? Well, as I said, we both have to take the Holy Oath. You should talk to the Grand Master as soon as you're ready. He's waiting for you in the Emporium. We both? What about Dunwar? Right. Dunwar. The apothecary examined him about an hour ago, and it doesn't look good. It's likely that he'll never wake up again. Well, considering how he was acting before, it kind of doesn't surprise me. This is what I was thinking. He was a simple-minded fool. It would have surprised me if he had passed. He was impulsive, yes. But to some extent, I can understand why he was the way he was. You know, Dunwar was one of those people who tried to gild their insecurity with boastful behavior. The reality is that he was the last of his bloodline and his faith in the path and his destiny as a keeper were all that he had left. And who knows, maybe he would have been a great help to the Order with the right guidance. But I guess Master Bartar's revelation was just too much for him. It's hard to be told that everything you've lived for was a lie. So this is one to getting to know her, I think. You don't seem to be too shaken up over all of this. The death of the Lightborn, I mean? Well, maybe I just don't show it as much. But yes, in a way, you're probably right. I suppose that's mainly due to the fact that to me, as opposed to Dunwar, the Order always stood for an idea. And an idea doesn't die with the one who first thought of it. Funny that the Grandmaster said nearly the same thing during the Exaltation. Dunwar would have considered it blasphemy. You talk about the Lightborn and their ideas as if they wouldn't have cost thousands of lives. They weren't as benevolent as you might have, might you make them out to be. That's true. A lot of crimes were committed during the Lightborn's reign, and I don't want to minimize that. But I also think a lot of those crimes were unavoidable, so to speak. Imagine you're the king of a small island and one day your realm gets attacked by a fleet of Scarab Reavers. The invasion catches you completely off guard, and within a few hours, the Reavers have advanced to the farmland, just a few feet from your city's main gates. And before you know it, you have to make a decision. Will you use the time that remains to entrench your army within the city's walls to have a better chance of surviving a siege? Or do you send them into the field to fight the Reavers there, knowing that there is only a slight chance to save the farmers, but a big risk that you will lose both the city and the farmers. That is a very tough decision. Yeah, I see where you're headed. There are certain situations where there is no such thing as the right call. Correct. What I'm trying to say is, it doesn't matter what you do. There will be people who will despise you for your decision. If your attempt to rescue the farmers fails, you will be accused of having acted blindly and idealistically. And if you just stay in the city, they will say you didn't even try. Of course, there's a small chance the foray might work, but... Should decisions like that really be made as if they were a game of dice? As I said, I don't mean to absolve the Lightborn of their crimes, but I'd wager my left hand that they had a lot of similar decisions to make. Yeah. Interesting thought. Speaking of Dunwar, what was that thing at the ritual place all about? He called you a witch? I knew the question would come eventually. I suppose the answer depends on whether you're in the mood for some gloomy talk. 
sooner or later you'll hear it from someone else anyway, so why not from me first? I wouldn't have asked if I weren't interested. Shoot. As you wish. I... <sighs> Where should I start? Maybe with the fact that I don't remember anything that happened before my sixth winter. I don't know where I was born, and I never got to know my parents. 